ഹലോ ഗെയിമേഴ്സ് മാക്സ് പെയിൻ്റെ മറ്റൊരു എപ്പിസോഡിലേക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും സ്വാഗതം അപ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് കണ്ടിന്യൂ ചെയ്യാം കുറച്ച് ഡിലേ ആയിപ്പോയി വീഡിയോ റെക്കോർഡ് ചെയ്യാം അപ്പോൾ എല്ലാവരും ക്ഷമിക്കുക എൻജോയ് വാച്ചിങ് നിങ്ങളെല്ലാവരുടെ സപ്പോർട്ടും പ്രതീക്ഷിക്കുന്നു സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യാത്തവർ ഇത്രയും പെട്ടെന്ന് Thank you. I was convinced the Broncos had gotten the wrong man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me. അപ്പോ നമ്മളെ കഴിഞ്ഞ എപ്പിസോഡിൽ ആ പോലീസാര നമ്മളെ ഈ ഒരു ഗാങ്ങിന്റെ സ്ഥലത്ത് കൊണ്ട് കൊണ്ട് വിട്ടിരിക്കാണ്. ഇവിടെ എന്ന് സംഭവിക്കാൻ ന അറിയില്ല. അപ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് Either those guys wheeled their trash out on stretchers or something was seriously wrong here. Ah oh, guys, our last episode is copyrighted. We played a lot of music. We played a lot of party. We played a lot of music. We played a lot of music. We played a lot of music. Where those bastards were going, they would need medication. Ufe, was there anything they didn't have a grubby hand in? A few days earlier, I'd have called it a coincidence, but I'd written off too many of those already. The Imperial Palace Hotel was a five-star bona fide shithole. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the bus load and checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service would be better upstairs. fazendo nada, tô fazendo tudo sozinho. Como é que eu não tô pegando nada, rapaz? Tô trabalhando aqui, ficando de olho e vou escutar você reclamar. Ó, 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 ó. Olha o quê? Para com essa viadagem, para de reclamar, de saco cheio. Porra, põe as coisas aqui em cima e porra, ata aqui, aqui, aqui. പിന്നെ 
ആവശ്യം വരും പിന്നെ യൂസ് ചെയ്യാം
ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಸಲ್ತ ಹೋಯ್ತು I knew this thing was bigger than me, bigger than the Broncos, but I only had a glimpse of the whole picture, like looking in the mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees, a bad caricature of a better man. Favela was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the crush of Prado. Now we just had to find out why. Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. De Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Get them out of here. Go. Go. Wait. I said get. Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. I had no choice but to push on. I didn't understand everything, and I never would, but I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is best tackled with a simple solution. Ah! 
This was hell on earth. De Silva was no fool. I'd have driven on off into the sunset too if I were him. But I was in too far now. You can't unsee something, but you can, Dalt. It looked like Victor had won the sympathy vote, found his universal connection to the people, triumph out of tragedy. Part of me couldn't help thinking that had been his plan all along. What have you been doing here? It's easy for you. Listen, I know people. They will kill you. I can help you. Trust me. Please, please. What have you been doing? I have a lot of money. Look, look. Lots of money. I do important research. Please. Caralho! Caralho! Espera. Espera, eu posso explicar tudo. Tudinho! Não, não. Por favor. Pelo amor de Deus. Por favor, não me mata. Não, não. Pelo amor de Deus! E ali, Totó? Eu vou mandar pra Fiquinha. Eu vou mandar ele na parede. For all Serrano owed me, he'd paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts to call in. Even I could guess what Demolisal meant. That building was condemned in more ways than one. They had a fucking arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground, so I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. seen some dark shit in my time, but this was something else. These vermin had gone into a place where life was cheap and found a way to get rich off it. I just wanted to finish this and get far away from here. But then, true to form, more of the rats came out of their holes.
At least my visitors have been kind enough to leave the gate open. I'd bought had been going real cheap. If I was gonna plant the rest of those explosives, I had to do it now. chance to do this right. I had to focus. of the explosives. I just hoped it was enough to bring down the building and all the evil in it. Vai, vai, rápido, rápido, vai. Who wants to take a shot? You see what this is? Come on, anybody? Want to be a hero? I got nothing to lose. Let's do it. Que porra que tá acontecendo aqui? Senor Nevis. What the fuck is your problem, man? My problem? My problem? Wanna know what my problem is? 
You're turning humans into glue! That's what my fucking problem is! I don't know what you're talking about, American! All I know is what I hear about you. You bodyguard for the Brancos. They are all dead. You help the poor. Today, many of them dead. You are a proper American hero. At least I fucking tried. Well done with your effort. The whole city is grateful. The great American savior of the poor. That's right. You think you made any difference? You think stopping this legitimate business venture is helping anyone? Legitimate? You're stealing people's organs! We pay for everything! We have the record! Oh, so people can sell their livers? Their hearts? Their eyeballs? You're insane, you sick fuck! We kept people safe in the city! Decent people! Safe! I know a lot of powerful people. Well, your powerful people aren't gonna help you out of this one, buddy. Now, come with me, Max, to Brazil. The chance to play the fall guy in a plot that my boss and brother's hatching to profit from the selling of human organs. Yeah, it'll be perfect for you. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about human organs, man. Victor and Marcelo are trying to teach Rodrigo a lesson. Get him to loosen the purse strings and the family money. They pressured me into doing it. You wanna die? I came back for you. I did my best. I'm having a kid, Max. I gotta go. Fuck you. Sure. Later. Now, let's go. Hope this thing works.
ഓക്കെ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് അങ്ങനെ ആ ചാപ്റ്റർ അവിടെ അവസാനിച്ചു അടുത്ത ചാപ്റ്ററുമായിട്ട് വീണ്ടും വരാം അയ്യോ ഇനിയും സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യാൻ ബാക്കിയുള്ളവർ മറക്കാണ്ട് സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യാനല്ലോ ഇനി ഒരുപാട് ഗെയിം വീഡിയോസ് നമുക്ക് ചെയ്യാനുണ്ട് ലൈവ് ചെയ്യണം താങ്ക് യു ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ടേക്ക് കെയർ for giving us a chance to live i mean as a family i hope it all works out for you for all of you thank you don't be too long well buddy that's it where are you guys going to go uh, i don't know maybe back to new york uh, maybe down to argentina giovanna has family in salvador maybe we'll just stay there Yeah, I got business to take care of. I I'm sorry I I dragged you into this. I know uh, I know it was very wrong. It's all right, it's done. But hey, I'm having myself a fun old time. Maybe this is how things had to be. Figure I might as well die in the sunshine as die in the snow. Look, I'm sorry I'm leaving. I I got a kid coming, you know. You know how it is. I know how that is. You know I I almost didn't say goodbye to you. I said to myself, maybe this guy will put a bullet in me. Maybe I will. But not right now. Thank you. Try to look after yourself, Max, huh? Life is worth living. If you say so, pal. I thought I was going to have to witness another murder. <laughs> nah. Not him. You ready? I guess. Okay. I've uh, looked through this information you gathered. And it's not very nice. What is it? It's the Ufe. The famous Mr. Becker. Friend of Victor Bronco. <laughs> yes. And a contributor to his campaigns. A government employee, of course. And a weapons dealer a murderer this was known a dealer in human organs this wasn't known a proper gentleman mm, sure so you're going to bring him down <laughs> yes because i want to lose my wife and my children and then get killed myself all that after watching him walk free tell me what has to be done well officially there's uh, nothing i can do and unofficially Well, we can always try something a little more creative. Creative? De Silva had promised me a 10 o'clock showcase. I had to make sure I was on stage and ready for my close-up. Diga a Becker. Que vim para ele. Convidado nosso. Quebra esse otário aí. Deixa comigo, vou dar uma lição nele. <risos> então, faz dela no dia. Patrão, filha da puta! Atrás de inocentes! Por que é que você vai acontecer contigo? Eu vou aqui! Eu não sei o que você vai acontecer, caralho! Tá pensando o quê? Ah, onde é que você vem? Ah, fica aí, cara. Eu, se fodeu, filha da puta. Otário, otário, otário. Deixa eu sair daqui, velho. Ô, ô, segura a porta aí. É, eu vi uma outra versão. Ô, olha, mas eu vi aquela parada lá, hein. Tem que morar. Chega aí, amigo. Why 
you doing here? Huh? I ask you a question. Answer him. Answer him. What, what? are you doing? What? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I don't understand. I can't hear you. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Hey, answer me. What are you doing here?